So this is part two of financial mathematics. Now to continue, we will have an example on the finance charges on credit cards. On November 10, a customer's credit card had a balance of 12,300. Purchases of 2,450 and 5,600 were made on November 13 and November 23, respectively. A payment of 10,000 was made on December 5. If the interest on the average daily balance is 3.5% per month, find the finance charge on the December bill. Now, we compute for the total unpaid balance accumulated for the whole month as follows. Okay, so the previous balance is 12300 There is a purchase made on November 13. So the total number of days from November 10 to November 13 will be 3. And then multiplied by 12300 that will give you uh, 36,900 in three days. And then uh, a purchase is made on, 5, 000, uh, on the November 23, which is 5,600. So the total period for November 13 to 23 will be 10. And then this will be added to the previous balance, so that gives you 14,750. Multiply by 10, that will be 147,500. Okay, uh, a payment is made on December 5. So 5,600 will be added to 14,750. 20,350 will be the unpaid balance per day from November 23 to December 5, which is equivalent to 12 days. And then multiply by 20,350. Uh, 50 for the total unpaid balance for 12 days. And then negative 10,000 for the last period will be added to 20,350. So that will be 10,350, so which is uh, equivalent to 5 days. And then multiply by 10,350, that gives you 51,750. And then getting the total unpaid balance for 30 days, so that will be 480,350. So this will be added to, uh, this will be divided by 30 to give you the average daily balance. And then multiplied by 0 0.035, which is the current interest rate for credit cards, um, that gives you 560.41 of financial. This will be added to the uh, previous balance. Now we go to stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Stocks and bonds are two financial instruments which are different in terms of intrinsic values. The corporation sells bonds to the public to increase its debt capital while a portion of their stocks are sold to increase its equity capital. Shares of stocks would mean fractional ownership of the corporation that is proportional to the number of shares from all the investors. The investors of these stocks are called stockholders of the corporation. The profits shared by the stockholders are called dividends, which is usually expressed as a per share amount. The dividend yield is computed as the annual dividend divided by the stock price using the interest formula I equals PRT with uh, T is equal to one year. Corporations sell bonds through borrow money from investors called bondholders. Usually government agencies issue bonds you know, in the form of treasury bills. The amount paid to the bond is called the face value or the principal, principal value. The corporation has to pay the said amount on a promised particular day called the maturity date at the specified rate of interest called coupon. To determine the uh, face value, which is equal to, uh, which is denoted by PV, okay, and the uh, discount D of a treasury bill, the formula would be, so 
the face value is equal to uh, PP times the quantity 1 plus R, total number of days divided by 360, where D is equal to PV minus PP. So PP is the purchase price, PV is the principal value or the face value, R is the coupon, and then D is the number of days. Compute the dividends as a share. A shareholder has to receive who has 80 shares and a stock is equivalent to 75 pesos per share. So the total dividends will be 80 shares and then 75 pesos per share. So this will cancel out. So that will be 6,000. What is the dividend yield for a stock? that pays an annual dividend of 150 pesos per share and trades at 3,000. So using the simple interest rate, okay, I is equal to PR, we have 150 and for the interest and then the principal value is 3,000, so that gives you 0.05 or 5% 5 rate. A treasury bond with 200,000 principal value has a 4% coupon so this is your R and then um, your face value and then your D here is 100. So compute for the di discount paid to the bondholder. So using the formula, so this one is your PV, uh, PV and then 1 plus R is 0 0.04, 100 days over 360. So your PP will be, purchase price will be 197,802. And the discount will be the difference between the face value, okay, and the purchase price, which is 2,198. So hence, the total amount of interest or discount is 2,198.